Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So today we'll be talking about this amazing uh, tent stove, wood burn stand, tent stove that I had specially prepared from a welder over here in uh, Islamabad. And since these are hard to find uh, in the country, um, like no one's specifically selling them in that kind of a market. So I had to have it made by myself and turned out pretty nice. So yep. Uh, I'll be making a review, uh, I'll burn it up for the first time uh, and make a video of it as well. So let's get started. These guys are getting interested as well. You like the new stove, huh? Choo -choo. <laughs> okay, so first off, uh, here's the main stove over here here's the entrance and the lid open up add fuel firewood over here let it burn and we'll close it up here is the exhaust pipe and uh, here is where the smoke comes out okay this is gonna be the hot plate it's made out of 18 gauge steel and all of this has been powder coated in matte which uh, should be heat resistant uh, but of course I'll try it out first and these are the pipes that uh, are, you know, along with it, that you attach up and hence you poke it through the tent stove or jack that you have in your tent. So, and at the topmost piece of it, uh, this is the spark arrester and this is the like uh, Knopi kind of, I had him, told him to test so, you know, no rain comes inside or anything else. And apart from that, there are these handles for holding it from both sides. Portability is also an important part when you're out camping and stuff. Right? Don't you agree? <laughs> and uh, for that portability, um, let me just turn it over. You can see that it has these um, legs that can come off by just unscrewing from over here this is like drilled and there's a nut and bolt attached and there it's been drilled through the pipe so if I just unscrew this it'll just come off and the whole size of the stove is gonna get reduced and you can then just pack it inside your bag or, or whatever and take it out easily and set it up easily as well just screw it back in these legs I'll uh, show you in a while as well so yep, it this just a simple sheet uh, uh, welded with the hinge over here, and although the thing is, uh, I'll have to just take care. This is gonna get very hot, so either I could just extend this or add something else, or wear uh, thick leather gloves so they don't burn uh, my fingers while opening it and adding firewood over here. I don't know if you guys can see. Let me try, but yeah, I guess that's how looks from the inside right. <laughs> so yeah that's pretty much it and I'm gonna like set it up for you and show you how it looks okay so uh, first off I'm gonna take this part just an attached over here See, okay, that's snug and fit. I'm gonna take this one and see the welder welded uh, and extended like a more uh, one with a bigger diameter so that can take in the pipe over here. So I'm just gonna add that. Okay, it's probably the other side. Yep, okay, that's snug and fit. Finally, the last part, and I'm gonna add it over here. Yeah, there it goes. And let me give you a view. So that's like inside your tent or uh, wherever. And like, you know, this is where it, for in, for example, exits the tent. And this is the whole pipe that's gonna be going out. And this from where the smoke's gonna be going out and not into your tent. And hence you're safe. And there's low risk of carbon monoxide poisoning. So yep, that's how it's gonna look. Pretty nice. I really like the matte finish on this. It gives it a very you know, nice finish and professional look. 
So I'll burn it up and then let you guys know how it works and cooks. Yeah, I guess this is probably the first tent stove I have in Pakistan, I guess. LOLs. I mean, that's a big assumption to make, but I haven't seen any one else online or stuff in my research. So, yep. Don't you agree? Hmm? <laughs> So now here I've got the stove up and running and you can see the first time that's why you have to run your stove outside because you know all of the fumes setting in of the metal and the paint uh, they run off so they're not dangerous to you you can see uh, I don't know if you can make out but not a lot of smoke coming out from there but there's definitely heat you can see the mirage effect right behind the chimney so yep it's all um, burning pretty nicely let me show you over here that's the fire going in right now the flames are heating up the surface and it's ready to cook so I'll try making a fried egg let's see how it goes I'm not gonna close it fully because it, uh, it uh, smothers the fire completely so I'm gonna partially keep it open and let's see we'll keep it uh, running for a few more minutes uh, till that uh, fumes and smoke runs off and then let's cook something pretty nice so let's make an egg Be nice. I'm not gonna eat that egg because still the fumes are getting released and it's gonna get mixed up with that so it might still be not pretty um, healthy to eat but this was just to test how the heat transfer is between this and the cast iron pan I have so pretty nice all set so I'm really happy I'm ho uh, hoping you guys enjoyed this maybe got some inspiration make uh, or design one of your own maybe an even better one the next steps I have is improve some uh, vent holes over here and some slides so I can control how much airflow is going in and also put a valve in the pipe so I can control how much of the heat is getting lost actually uh, the fire is taking up air from here and only this part is heating up and most of the heat is in this pipe That's why it's heating up the most uh, So somehow if I can introduce some kind of a valve system over here and control the outflow of the gases hot gases Then most of them I can control and let them stay inside and hence heat this area up Which I can use much more efficiently for cooking so but those are for a later time for now this is working and it's pretty awesome so i hope you guys enjoyed this and let me know in the comment section so okay see you later bye thumbs up <laughs> and of course don't forget to like and subscribe